Hello everyone and welcome back. It's uh, we've got three days and then the party up here. I got up here oh, a few hours ago, brought the camper from the campground up here and got that set up. And I'm getting the tractor ready. I need to mow the fields and everything, but it's been starting to miss lately. And uh, I knew that the plugs were dirty then and they were really dirty. So I'm just cleaning them up right now because when I started it and moved it over to here, it was running pretty rough. Melissa is in there steam cleaning the carpet in the living room. We were doing it last, well she started earlier this week and it, uh, <laughs> man they're dirty. Um, the steam cleaner isn't working right, that's one we brought from Louisiana. So. On my way up, I pulled in with the uh, travel trailer into the parking lot of the store and went in and bought a new one, and that thing is working awesome. So last night when she was texting me or messaging me, whatever it was, she uh, was pretty frustrated with the other one because it would work for a little bit. And then you know how it like clicks and it doesn't have any suction anymore? And <laughs> She was definitely worked up, but she's better now. I cut the rest of these branches down tonight so they'll be able to get the tent thing in here without any problems. Running as smooth as the day she come off the assembly line now. My sister-in-law, Teresa, who you see in the duck hunting videos on Joe and Zach Survival, you know they've got those three Chesapeakes and the youngest one she ran it through, I don't know what kind of school and everything. Anyway, she's been doing a lot of dog shows and winning a lot of awards with that dog. And right now she's up in Duluth, which is what, 30 minute drive? And uh, showing it at a Duluth dog show. And she asked if Friday she could come out here and use the four wheeler and run her dog. So I wanna make sure I have enough gas in here before I use it up all on the tractor. I have to get a whole bunch of cans because this weekend when when everybody's here, these four-wheelers will run a lot. It's surprising how, how much people will drive these back on those trails. I'm gonna go run this in the field for just a couple times up and down. You can see my shaft is bent. I went to three different fleet farms because that's where I buy these to finally find one I could they would have one part but not the other and I finally found one that had both of them and I, I need to switch it out but it's such a pain in the butt to switch this out with this mower that uh, I might just run it and see what happens if she pops loose it's got a long way to go before it whaps me Well, just watching that work, it's like it can't be good for the mower <laughs> with that vibration. So, and you know the weird thing is, every store I went to, I could get the um, the shaft side here, but I could not get the whatever this one is called the the open one. And this is the one that's bent, so they must bend quite often, and that's why, like I said, only one store of the three, and they only had one of the this side. I bought both because I had no idea. 
So anyway, uh, yeah, I think I'll switch it out. The problem is I can't, it should be a little bit shorter and because it's hard to get them to both hook up. So I have, by doing it this way, and then you put it back together that same way and it seems to work. This one doesn't seem bent at all. So I probably can just leave this one. I don't see anything wrong with that. You can see the difference in those. Somebody will know, because I mean, I just learn as I go, but uh, I suppose because this is the like thinner metal, it bends. Somebody on that watches the videos will know and be able to tell me if these bend a lot. And I'm sure it was because I went through that really thick grass out there, uh, and I was really pushing it. That's probably what happened. Much better. It was just kind of scaring me that it might be vibrating the gearbox or whatever on there, but everything seems fine now. I got the canopies set up. That last one, I'm just pushing that against the garden for right now because since that big tent they'll set up goes in here tomorrow, I don't know what they need for like, you know, rope to hold it and everything. I'd like to pull that one all the way up flush here, but we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Just make it look like you know what you're doing, that's all that matters. <laughs>
You got a whole blow up mattress in there? Oh, that's gonna be nice. And then? Where's the little air conditioner? Oh crap, you have to put that on low. <laughs> oh, I can set the Oh yeah, just set the temperature. Very nice. Vents it out. So I'm just gonna put this underneath the uh, zipper. Oh yeah, that'll work. Yep. Hmm. If you had a tent that had a stove jack, that could go right oh. up. Right the same thing, right through the stove jack. That would work so good. And then put a, uh, wow, the deer flies are liking it over here. Yeah. So I'll plug this in. start up the grill and uh, get that gator put on there. It needs about a good four hours to cook.
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. They're coming to take the tent down and pick up the bouncy house today. And uh, Melissa and I and her son Brandon and his girlfriend Megan and the little guy Gabe, we're going to head up the North Shore of Lake Superior. I will see you guys on the next video.